Ted Bayhaus here with uh, Full Scale AV. Uh, today we are going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to hook up a iPad to a uh, audio interface here. This is a um, PreSonus audio box USB. This is a uh, pretty common PreSonus interface, very popular, uh, real well made. Uh, not a lot of money and uh, sounds really, really nice. Um, so. There's a, little, a couple hoops you have to jump through to get the, uh, the audio interface to work with an iPad. And uh, I'm going to kind of do a, a moment here and show you exactly what you need to do to get it connected. Okay, I'm going to go through the actual hookup of this just to show you how everything goes together. It's really pretty easy. Uh, first of all, as I mentioned before, you need the Camera Connect Kit. So you have a Camera Connect Kit. On one end of this has got the regular iPod dock connector on the bottom. The other side is just a standard USB connector. So we're going to just go ahead, uh, take that, and we're going to attach it to the, um, the bottom of the iPad right here. I'm going to throw my cable right here into the USB hub. I'm going to put the power into the USB hub so we're all lit up, ready to go. And then all I need to do from there is just plug that USB hub connector right into the camera connect kit. So we're good to go there. And then, lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the, uh, the interface. And I know I have good power. When you're looking at one of these, you want to look for one that has a reasonable amount of amperage on the, uh, on the power supply. So half a milliamp would probably be, you know, 500 milliamps would be, would be about what you want to look at. So uh, that should give you enough juice to run something like this. These don't take a lot, but if you're going to run phantom power and if you're going to run a uh, high quality condenser microphone, uh, those devices do grab uh, a fair amount of voltage. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this down and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the garage band software. Um, just how everything gets uh, hooked up there as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and boot the uh, GarageBand app here. And it takes a moment for it to come up. And I have a fresh audio recorder instrument set up. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we have a uh, a VU meter here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect up a microphone. I'm going to connect up a Neumann uh, uh, TLM 102. I also have a 149 in here which I'll, I'll post up uh, maybe a couple audio examples on this later on. But I'm going to go ahead and connect that. Okay, I've got the uh, microphone connected now and you can see that uh, we've got some audio cooking. And I'm going to just do a little bit of recording. Now this is a, a condenser phantom powered microphone, so uh, that's one of the real nice things about this. You can use a high quality microphone with this. Um, you just use the record button like you would uh, anything else. Just push record up here. And uh, I'm recording audio. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So I pegged it a little bit there. You want to make sure your levels don't go too high. Alrighty, and uh, I click on here, and there's my beautifully recorded track. One of the other things that I wanted to show you was the fact that you actually have, um, with the interface now, you, you can select which of the inputs that you want to use on this. So instead of just having the uh, built-in microphone as your only choice, you now have the, the option of just grabbing any one of the channels here. You also have an input monitor switch here, so if you want to monitor through the device, you can do that. Also on the uh, audio box USB, you actually have a, a mix control on here as well. So if I want to go uh, zoom back out of here, if I look at the front of the, uh, of the interface itself, uh, right here, this little control uh, right there that says mixer, this allows you to either monitor what's coming in off the inputs of it through the headphone jack or what's being played back or monitored through uh, the GarageBand application. So you can either do direct monitoring if you want, if that even that little bit of latency bothers you, you can do that. Or you can monitor through um, you can monitor through GarageBand, which quite frankly I think works very, very well. So it uh, it's 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 pretty low latency. 
So I hope you found this, uh, this useful and I hope you have as much fun as I've had with, uh, with the iPad uh, using it with, the, uh, with an audio interface. Uh, really, the portability of it and all that just really makes a uh, big, big difference and the whole touch interface is, uh, is something that I think is really going to catch on in the music biz. So thanks from Full Scale AV. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.